What's going on everyone, this is Carl The Solutionist and The Solution to Fitness and today I'm going to give you 5 facts about creatine. I'm going to talk to you about what is creatine, uh, does creatine make me gain weight, everything you need to know about creatine and if it's and if it's beneficial for you. And if you haven't noticed, I have once again shaved my head, Bald Solution is back, Vin Diesel Stump Double is back. And you know what that means? It means it's gonna make my eyebrows look thicker than normal. Cause seriously, a lot of people pay attention to my eyebrows. I have no idea why people pay attention to that thing so much, but uh, I, even have, I even read a comment the other day that said, your eyebrows are on fleek. What, what the hell does that even mean? Is that an insult or is that a compliment? No. Uh, so anyway, first let's start with what creatine is. What is creatine? What does it actually do? Why do so many people use it? And also remember when the video is finished, do not forget to share this video to people that don't really know about creatine, especially people like your parents so they don't say things like, stop taking those steroids. Why is my son on drugs? And share it with your friends so you can avoid situations like, why do you take that stuff? It's gonna make your thing small. Your muscles are just powder. <laughs> Cash me outside, how about that? Creatine is something found in foods such as fish and red meat. And they also have it in powder form because those meats may not provide you with the sufficient amount that your body needs. I mean, if you think about it, a pound of uncooked red meat could amount up to one or two grams of creatine. There are so many different forms of creatine that even as I'm making this video, they're probably gonna come out with another one. So I have a list of different types that I know right here. Pause the video if you want, I'm gonna leave the list right here for about five to six seconds. But creatine is popular amongst people trying to gain weight as creatine can help increase your performance, reduce your fatigue, as well as helping you increase your strength. And on that note, let's get right into that number one fact. It can help you gain strength. For years, athletes have been using creatine for additional strength to help them with their lifts. Creatine is basically providing energy to the muscle cells of the body and storing them there. This stored energy is increasing the time before fatigue of the muscle. It is super beneficial, especially if you're training in powerlifting as it's literally swelling you up with reserves and power. And this kind of segues into my number two. And a lot of people have asked me this, so I'm going to confirm it here you will gain water weight from taking creatine. <gasps> it's a trap. So does that mean you shouldn't take creatine when you're trying to lose weight or lean out? That may not necessarily be the case. By you holding that water in your body temporarily, it can help you push past your previous limitations. So if you're low carbing or have your calories really low, this can be very beneficial for you. And by helping you push past your previous limitations, especially when dieting, it's going to help you increase your lean muscle mass because of that extra push you're getting. And developing lean muscle mass does burn fat. So people need to remember that water weight and fat are two entirely different things. Also a little fun fact I'm gonna throw in there, creatine is good for your metabolism. Number three. Three. You can take creatine at any time of the day and still get results from it. And this is referring strictly to the creatine monohydrate as that's the form of creatine that takes a little longer to get into your bloodstream. People claiming to use this before a workout and it helping them make them stronger are just suffering from a placebo effect. It's all mental. As long as you have around five grams or more of creatine a day, you will get results from it. And this is actually good to help me answer another question that I get a lot, a very popular question. Should you take creatine on your days off from working out? And the answer to that is yes. You have to make sure that your body is ready when you get back to the gym. So make sure you're taking that creatine and letting it flow through your body. But if you don't work out at all, don't waste your time, don't use it, don't waste it. We need that. Number four, you can pretty much mix creatine with anything and it'll still work. Some people mix it with water, some people mix it with their protein shakes, some people mix it with their pre-workouts, but lots of experienced lifters use high carb, high sugar drinks to mix with their creatine or mix creatine with their high carb, high sugar drinks. That's because the insulin spike will increase the absorption of the creatine into the muscle. Think of creatine as Super Mario. And you know that star he uses when he, when he grabs a star and he gets all that increased power and speed? That star is the sugar and the carbs. Does that make sense? Because that sounded a lot better in my head. Number five, it's good for your brain, ironically. That's right, because not only are your muscles being pumped by the golden star, no, by the creatine, 
but also the neurons are also getting energized. There's a lot of documents and studies that were used to test the brain function of test subjects that were using creatine, and it went up significantly. And since when you stop taking creatine, you stop feeling the effects, scientists were able to also study the subjects that went off creatine, and their brain function went down significantly. And I can actually attest to this, because when I was in high school and my first half of community college, I didn't work out, I didn't do any of that stuff. I, had, I Maybe the first half of community college, I just started working out, but yeah. I didn't get good grades at all. High school, I got the horrible grades. If I got a C, I was celebrating. <laughs> then during that second half, I got into working out more with, uh, I started using supplements, I started using creatine, I started using protein powders. And that second half of community college, it was all right, it was getting better. And then I ended up going into a university and then my grades were phenomenal. I ended up graduating with a 3.75 GPA with High honors. Magna cum laude, baby. Here, take a look at this. This is the golden tassel that was only awarded to honor students. All right, that's enough. Stop showing off. Oh, I can show off if I want to show off. Hater. I don't even know what that was. That was my five facts about creatine that you should know. Hopefully, I answered any questions that you had, maybe all your questions that you ever had about creatine. So, so far, I only did one creatine review. Uh, you can check it out, it's on my supplement review uh, playlist. I'm also going to put it in the description, uh, but like I said, I've only done one. Um, going to be working on more in the very near future. So guys, I'm closing in on 10,000 subscribers. I'm very, very close. Um, don't know how many going to have when I put out this video, but as of this moment, I have around 9,600, a little more than that. So yeah, keep spreading the word, it's working. Uh, I don't know what video I have planned yet when that video comes out, when I hit 10K. Um, maybe just another Q&A video like I did for my thousand subscriber thing. Um, so when I answer people in my comment section, I usually keep it, a sh I try to keep a short and sweet answer. Um, but if you guys have questions for me and that I will answer in the video, uh, I'll probably give a more in-depth answer. So um, it's easier to speak more than to have to type, you know, I get kind of lazy sometimes. And now I'm always on the go, so I don't really have time to give full-blown answers to comments. I can have keep, I keep, I keep everything very short and sweet. Hey, good answers though, I give good answers. But if you have any questions for me, uh, just leave it in the comment section. I mean, you can follow me on Instagram, you can see some stuff that I post there. Uh, you can also DM me some questions if you got there, whatever you want to send me questions. Online training is still available. Uh, my email is in the description you can contact me if you're trying to get a good diet going it's summer is going to be coming soon time is flowing time is going quick so if you're still trying to get that beach body your diet sucks you can hit me up and i'll help you out workout plans whatever you want once again this is carl the solution saying if you got a problem i'll help you solve it which is done your best is yet to come